Something I always have to remember is to live in the world that I actually live in rather than the world that I wish I lived in. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about the real problem with Lily Singh but it's not even really about Lily Singh. It's about society and just kind of the world as a whole. So. Every commentator <laughs> on the planet has made a video recently and I, I was trying to stay away from this topic in my last video, but it brings up something else. So let me catch you up to speed for those of you who don't know what's going on. Lily Singh sent out a tweet talking about how the Forbes uh, highest paid YouTuber list didn't have any females on it. And a lot of people got really upset about that, you know, so I'm not jumping into, you know, that debate on it, but what intrigues me is how upset people are and why they're getting upset. That is what fascinates me, all right? So like I said, like a million commentators made videos on this, and this is just something that cracks me up about the commentator community as a whole, is that like everybody's like, oh, I, I need to make a video about this too. Like, I mean, hey, I'm even getting views from it, so ain't no hate. So today we're going to be talking about Lily Singh. And uh, just, uh, just, just, I'm just a little bit angry right now. I talked a little bit about it last video, how I'm extremely annoyed when it comes to overly entitled babies uh, complaining because they, they don't get spoon fed anymore. I have people asking, well, what is your opinion regarding what Lily's throwing out there? And what I would personally say is I think that Lily is basing a reaction to all of this on information that may not be completely factual, as well as a misunderstanding of our environment here online versus that of the mainstream entertainment industry. One, regarding the how factual the list is part, uh, I don't want to blow up people's spots, but I've, I've, I've heard and seen some of the money that gets thrown around in the female beauty vlogger space, and ho ho ho. Obviously that's why she's not on the Forbes list anymore. So please stop trying to force her onto it. I think today is going to be a big lesson in YouTubers and entitlement. I was on the Forbes list last year making millions of dollars. I'm still making millions, but not enough to get on it this year. I love how she like slyly chucked that in, you know? I, I was on it last year, guys. I, I, well, I am a millionaire. <laughs> but anyways, like it just, it it's interesting to see what people get upset about. So the Forbes list is talking about how much money YouTubers make, right? And all of this stuff, like it's been on Philip DeFranco too, and people are talking about like, like this thing about like, well, how much money people make. Like you guys, like as a society, like we need to like really check in with our priorities. Like there is so much news. There is so much news around, you know, like Idris Elba was, uh, you know, this, this year's like sexiest man alive right? Or, you know, aside from the Forbes list about, you know, who's making the most money. But how many times this year have you heard about how much money Jeff Bezos is making, right? Like this stuff is just shoved in your face. We are constantly being told on a regular basis that looking good and making money, that is what's going to make you happy. And we are getting brainwashed by this. And it, it just, it bums me out. As somebody with a mental health channel, trying to bring awareness to mental health, it bums me out how many people keep focusing on the these things that we know, we know for a fact will not make you happy. Something that I always remind people of, I always remind like my clients of, like when I'm working in a treatment center and they're like, but I wanna make money, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy that. Like I remind them of the countless celebrities who have passed away from overdoses and suicides. Clearly, clearly we have evidence that money and success does not always equal happiness. Something that I haven't kept screenshots of, but I wish I did was, some of you know I've been on like a weight loss journey the last year or so. When I go on my Facebook page and I, I'm like at the gym or I do a weigh-in, I'm like, hey, lost another five pounds. Hey, lost another 10 pounds. I get so much engagement from my friends and family, right? I get all these likes, I get comments, people saying congratulations, this and this, all this other stuff, right? But then whenever I talk about mental health, it is crickets, it is crickets. Like you guys, I cannot stress to you enough, six and a half years ago, I was the worst person you will ever meet. Like friends and family did not want to talk to me because I was a garbage human being. Uh, not only was I just angry, I was lying, I was stealing from people, I was constantly having these mental breakdowns like, 
why is it, why is it that nobody's like, hey Chris, you haven't had like an episode in a while. Like that's pretty cool. Or hey Chris, you haven't lost your crap on somebody lately. You know, like hey Chris, you haven't screamed at somebody in public in years. That is awesome. Like why are we not celebrating like mental health accomplishments? That is what I don't get. Because like I said, we know that, you know, what, what you look like and how much money you make are not going to guarantee to make you happy. And if we're, if we're gonna be real too, like your mental health and your happiness is, is way, way more achievable than making the most money or being the sexiest person alive. Like that's just the way it is. But anyways, anyways, one of the reasons I made this video is because I sent out a tweet yesterday then I posted on my Instagram, I posted on my community page and there's been some pushback, all right? And here's the tweet right here and I'll read it to you. It says, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do a video five YouTubers least likely to have a mental breakdown in 2019. Let's shine a light on the creators you think exhibit, exhibit the best mental health. Tag them in your reply and we'll do a vote. So I've gotten some pushback on this and, and people are like, oh, you know, you know, people suffer in silence and all these other things. And I'm like, like, I just wanna make it very clear, I am not in any way, shape or form apologizing for that tweet. Not in a million years. If you think I am, you clearly don't know me, all right? Like, I get it. I get why some people are like, oh my God, Chris. But like, you guys, why, like, couldn't we argue the same point? Like, we're putting these people on pedestals who are making all this money, right? Like, let's look at Chester Beddington, all right? Let's look at him. All right, how many times do people say he's like one of the best singers, one of the best vocalists? Linkin Park is one of the best bands. So we're putting him on this pedestal and he was dying inside, all right? So I am not going to ever agree with you that we, sh we shouldn't talk about how somebody is mentally healthy. Like, why, like, okay, what about the people we say who are physically healthy? Like Idris Elba, the sexiest man alive. What if that dude is miserable? What if he hates himself? What if he hates how he looks? You see what I mean? So like, again, like one of the reasons I have this channel is to promote like mental health awareness. And like my views are a little bit different, but you know, like here's the thing. I am trying to change the way that all of us look and talk about mental health. And some of this stuff's difficult because we haven't looked at it in a certain way. So I will admit like, you know, just reading your guys' feedback and some of the pushback and there wasn't as much pushback as it may seem, but it, it felt like enough where I needed to address it because this is a topic that I'm very passionate about. Like, I, I think I'm gonna just rework the title. That's about it. Like I might change it to like the most inspirational people and tie it into mental health. You know what I mean? But we do need to celebrate people. Like if somebody's gone all of 2018 and doing well and they're happy and motivated and all these other things, like let's talk about it. And I get the argument that they might not be doing well mentally, but, but why, why can't we take things from them to inspire us? You know what I'm saying? Like, although I don't care about money, like I'm inspired by the hustle that Gary Vaynerchuk has. I'm inspired by his mindset. I'm inspired by his mental health and his empathy for other people. So again, like even if, even if these people are not doing the best mentally, I think we should shine a light on people who are not causing drama, not getting into fights on Twitter. You know, people who are acting right and being a good positive influence. Because one of the reasons I do this channel is to teach you what you can learn from people. And something I admit that I don't do nearly as enough is shine a light, is shine a light on the amazing inspirational YouTubers who are a positive influence on every person that they touch. All right, so so again, like I really want you to sit back and check your value system. Like, why do you think money's gonna make you happy? Why do you think having the certain body's gonna make you happy? Real quick, before I let you go, I just posted a video about Trisha Paytas and how she keeps buying things to make her happy, and I've already seen multiple comments saying, oh, she can just go buy a Lamborghini? Must be nice, must be nice. Like, are you not getting it? Are you not getting it? She's freaking miserable. Like, so what do you mean it must be nice? Like, I look at that, I'm like, oh, dang. Like, I'm looking at somebody who is living proof that buying a, a, a $250,000 car is not going to fill a void within me. So never, ever, ever, ever that think that just switching places with some rich person is gonna make you happy, all right? All right, <laughs> so that's my, little, that's my little spiel. Let me know down in the comments below, are you somebody who realized that money wasn't gonna make you happy. Are you somebody, I would love to know from somebody too down in the comments, if you have lost a lot of weight, if you have gotten in shape and you still struggle 
with being happy. Like there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do want people to learn from other people's experiences that this is not always the thing that is going to make you happy. All right, so let's have a conversation. Be nice, be kind, and love each other down in the comments. Sorry for bringing out tough love Chris today, but I really had to talk about this. All right, but anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. But either way, subscribe and ring the notification bell because you know, just do it. Uh, a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you're all awesome. And there's a brand new Patreon exclusive video up over there if you haven't checked it out yet. All right, thanks again for watching. Get your priorities straight and I'll see you next time.